Cochrane collaboration, which is kind of one of the ultimate arbiters of vaccine safety and clinical data, has done an extensive meta review of the flu vaccine. And they found that there is no evidence that the flu vaccine prevents serious disease or that it prevents hospitalizations or death in children. There's no scientific evidence. And what we tried to do is to follow the science. <laughs> this is one creative way to follow the science. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to show you the data from the paper that he's describing, what their findings were. And then your job is to figure out if he was lying or if he was telling the truth. And then we can update Kennedy's misinformation tier list. My name is Morgan and I'm a scientist. Let's begin. This is the Cochrane Review, titled Vaccines for Preventing Influenza in Healthy Children. From the paper, the aim of this Cochrane Review was to summarize research on immunizing healthy children up to the age of 16 with influenza vaccines during influenza seasons. We used randomized trials comparing either one of two types of vaccines with dummy vaccines or nothing. And the two types of vaccines they're talking about here are live attenuated, the nasal vaccine versus inactivated flu shots. For the inactivated vaccine, the typical flu shot, the type that I and my daughter and my wife got this year, the paper estimated that compared with placebo or no vaccination, inactivated vaccines reduced the risk of lab-confirmed influenza during flu season from 30% to 11%, relative risk 0.36, which means about a 64% reduction in risk of lab-confirmed influenza among children, healthy children, who got the flu shot. For the live attenuated vaccine, which is that nasal spray, was about a 78% reduction in risk of lab-confirmed influenza. Now, the exact numbers here, they swing up and down a lot across flu seasons, across different study populations. So the exact percentage changes or percent reductions in risk, those change from setting to setting. But the much more important takeaway from this paper that RFK Jr. himself is citing is that when healthy children get the flu vaccine, they are less likely to get lab-confirmed influenza. So what is Kennedy getting wrong then? Now there is a tiny little shred of truth in what he said. And there always is. There's always one tiny little truth in what he says, cloaked in a much larger veil of deception. In this case, it's that these studies did not technically analyze protection against death. They were looking at protection against lab-confirmed infection. But it's pretty misleading to point at this paper and say there was no evidence of protection against death because that's not what these studies were designed for. And I know that it's not quite fair. Kennedy's a lawyer. He's not a scientist. He has no scientific or medical training. But it doesn't take a whole lot of scientific training to guess that if the flu vaccine reduces children's risk of getting lab-confirmed influenza by some amount, say 60% or 70% or whatever, then logically, they're also going to be less likely to be hospitalized or to have severe complications or to die from influenza because it's really hard to die from the flu if you didn't get the flu in the first place. And outside of this paper, a large and growing body of evidence has shown that flu vaccines reduce the odds for severe flu outcomes and for hospitalization and ICU admission. On Kennedy's misinformation tier list, we're gonna have to put flu shot doesn't reduce flu death in the C tier. The paper he cited showed that actually, kids getting flu shots get less lab-confirmed flu, even though they didn't technically look at death in this paper. Next time, he should cite a study that doesn't rapidly point out that he doesn't really understand what he's talking about. I make videos debunking health misinformation, and I would appreciate your follow if you want to support actual evidence in public health over whatever this is that we're seeing going on right now. I also write a newsletter over on Substack, for which there's a free subscription option if you want evidence-based takes on recent health and science news coming straight from my keyboard to your inbox.